What is up, people? Welcome back to another episode of Dungeon Dragons and Space Shuttles. I hope everybody's doing all right. I'm doing okay. And, uh, well, in the last episode, I worked towards uh, getting the runes and stuff. And, like, you know, the compressed stone and things. And so I posted uh, an image of my stupid idea uh, with the Iron Golem uh, on the Dungeon Dragons and Space Shuttles and Bees uh, Discord. And, well... Turns out it wasn't maybe the best idea, so I listened to a couple of people over there and made more things and more progress into the dark magic area, uh, things that I don't think we're ever going to use, but uh, bam, we're up here and there is no longer any iron golems. What we have is three zombies on graveyard soil with glass shards on top and when they're that close to the altar well they put blood into it uh, i have no idea if the rune sacrifice actually modified the amount uh, generated by the glass shards but they do work uh there is no a change in recipes in graveyard soil as it is a little bit more complex so the main thing is here you need 160,000 blood and like a block of diamond to make the diamond promise acceptor with the gold of tenacity. So you need this. So it means you need the tier 2 uh, altar to be able to make it. And then you can do this with some iron and gold stuff. Again, you need like more blood. And yeah, and two dark magic essence. So it gets a little bit complicated and everything, but it's not that bad. But yeah, as you can see here, I have the things. I have a lot of things, and they work pretty well, like, uh, let me show you, so, uh, let's say we're gonna take, like, uh, more of these, because I know for a fact we're going to need uh, a lot more tier 2 and tier 3, <clears throat> so, there we go, we got 64 of these, so we can put that there, so it puts one there, oh yeah, I've got a, a speed bee here, uh, just to make it go faster, and there we go, it's pretty much just gaining blood, uh, I did test a bunch of setups with the zombies, and this is the only place I, I found that they had it. Like, you need to be, like, straight two blocks away, or, like, one block away, but I don't want to break one of these uh, sacrifice things. So, I tried putting it under, putting it above, putting it, like, further. All of them wouldn't put blood into uh, the altar. So, this is a pretty good way of doing it. Uh, and, yeah, it allowed me to get... A bunch of those, uh, which is pretty good considering the fact that we need a bunch of those. And now what we can do is do home craft. And in here, I've got... Uh, wait, I forgot. Yeah, I had the... <laughs> I was waiting for this. No. Uh, this. There we go. Perfect. All right, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and oh, I actually, I didn't, I didn't need to do that, but sure. There you go. We got twenty, which is the next quest we were looking for. So yeah, the ones that I made were out to here, and the thing that is pretty cool is that you can get this here. So you get the blood, and it's the same amount of blood that you have in your system. So you could just leave your blood orb into your altar, and then this thing links to your system, so you can use the blood in your blood magic altar to power your uh, machine for blood. Uh, for me, I actually did it by, you know, just going to, uh, to, to my mob farm and filling in tanks. And over there, I have a 256,000 uh, millibucket. So 256 buckets in there. But yeah, so there we go. We needed 20 of those. And the reason for this is because we are now at making the tier 3 altar. Which is blank rune, some stone bricks, and glowstone. So that shouldn't be too hard. Uh, should have some more stone somewhere. There we go. There we go. Eight. And there we go. So now we can go back here, and what we're going to need to do is break the corners. And I'm trying to remember, I think it's one, two, three, four, and then you put... 
this on top. Uh, yeah, I think it makes sense. Oh wait, no, that makes no sense. Because you need, uh, you, you need. All right, so it's not that. It is. Oh yeah, I didn't talk about this in the last episode. So I made a portable piston. And it's pretty cool, it's made like this. It's not too hard to make, except you need to magistic ink it. But it really came handy when I was building stuff. And let me show you uh, what I mean by handy. So you put it there, you do this, and bam, it's been moved. And so that way I don't need the block under. So it's pretty freaking great. Alright. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't want the block under, so that's why I'm doing this. Alright, so boom, bam, paclow. I could also just, you know, not break the block place and then uh, move them. But yeah, no, that, that's not how it works. Oh, here it's easier. Alright, so we can do this. And let's see, do I have like this? Uh, one thing though that is pretty cool. Uh, th this is the thing that I did. Uh, where is it? So the sacrifice here. So you need the tier 2, of course, and some triberium. And they take, it gives you two for one blank rune. So that, that's pretty cool. I think we're, we're going to make a couple more of those, that's for sure. Uh, but for the moment, we're just going to make the other rune. That way it's going to allow us to be tier three, which was something we were trying to get. Uh, we're going to look also at the quest. Just to make sure uh, what we, we need to do after. Okay, so let's do... This. Alright. I, I really don't like using plain runes, but eh, it's fine. There we go. So this thing will now be a tier 3. So that is pretty good. And um, so the next thing is the imbued slate. So this is tier 3. So that means making tier 2. Uh, one, two, three, four, and then doing some of that. And you always lag when you do this, so I'm not sure why. And then you put that there. So let's do this so it does those before. And there we go. So this thing's probably not going to be good enough to keep uh, the blood in there. Uh, wait. Oh, yeah, I should, uh, I should put this there. So there we go. Now we've got the imbued slate. And the next thing is inert blood iron. Wait, why? I've I've made those way before. Yeah, so as you can see now, we're not producing blood fast enough. So this is going to be kind of the issue at this point. And uh, when you start not making blood enough, I think it loses blood or something. I'm not 100% certain, but it's going to take more time to do the item. So in a case like this, you can see... Uh, it's not really being made, and this is always an issue. You don't want to have an empty altar, uh, so I'll have to look into this. Maybe put more, uh, more uh, uh, zombie in there. But if, if we look at this, uh, they're all named with uh, name tag that I have from my mob farm, and yeah, so they're taking damage from the glass shards, and the soil is healing them. So this is how it's been made. Uh, it works. Okay, so, inert, and then the blood iron, the thing that we really, really were looking for. The alchemy table... Oh, it's not that bad. An iron promise, some uh, treated wood, and some blaze stuff, which I don't have a lot of. But, yeah, so, l let me prepare a bunch of things. You know one thing I should probably make, which probably is in the tier one? The divination sigil. Yeah, <laughs> I thought maybe they, they, they were doing this. Uh, I never remember how you do these things, but let, let's try it. So let's go home craft. Uh, we're gonna take this out. We're gonna grab one piece of redstone, and we're gonna go above ground. I think you need to like get lightning on it. So <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the problem right now. Uh, I don't really have a a ground up. Wait. What did I grab? I grabbed something, but I don't know what it is. Okay. So, we're gonna do this, and it's gonna be super hard to see because it's gonna be white on white. 
Dan, you right click with the redstone and you throw this. No. Oh, there we go. You right click on it. Then you can barely see the thing. Well, actually, yeah, it's there. You can see it. Then you don't want to be close because sometimes there's lightning. Oh, okay. There's no lightning. All right. So the divination sigil is going to let you know how much blood you have in your system, uh, in your orb, when you're not clicking the altar. And when you click the altar, it's going to let you know what's the blood in there. So it's really hard to see because it's at the top left under the item, but it says that it's a tier three and it's struggling to get any blood. So, and you can see I'm not making any more imbued slates because I'm not making any enough blood. So yeah, I'm going to have to figure out a way to do this, but uh, let me get some items out and trying to uh, get ready to make some of those because the blood iron we're going to need a lot of. And uh, we'll see where we go from there. Let's start with the first thing. I should really look at my uh, quest like rewards and stuff because I had like already a dark magic essence and I literally just made three because I needed. Well, I made five, so in a sense, it's not that bad. Uh, but yeah, let's first start here. So we've got a binding regent. Now we've got this, and now we'll be able to go. But let's. Try to see. So, yeah. Okay, so you bind with this. So, let's go blood. And let's do it like here. So, that way we're going to be able to actually see it. So, you put this. Well, I see this and... Okay, okay, wait. Th there you go. Now we can see something. Right click. Makes it like ten times bigger. Then you put that there. And then you put that in your hand. Because sometimes the weapon just breaks for no stupid reason. Come on. And boop! Bound blade! Uh, the moment I would have to... Oh no, we seem to be fine, okay. Uh, but there, there's nothing in the orb, then, so I, you can't really use it. Um, but alright, so this is going to be for the next step, which is uh, pr pretty important. Is we need this so that we can get further into the tier. Uh, alright, so let's go back to craft. Over here, we've got the alchemy table. Perfect. Uh, displacement rune. I don't know why I would need this, but eh, sure. All right, uh, another one. So we need the diamonds now. So that means that we need to make this, which I haven't really thought about doing, but we can't make it because we need the terra seal. So. You see, this is where we're at. We're pretty much like going through different types of of blocks. And tear steel is not something I can make at the moment. Uh, it is made in Botania. So we haven't really progressed that much in Botania. So th this is going to have to wait. Uh, I do wish we had it because we're going to need it pretty soon. But uh, let's get the blood shard. But first, uh, we have... Uh, this quest here, so the promised tenacity, uh, this one I did do it, just didn't, like, complete it because I don't want to remove it because I would have to remove the freaking, like, zombies on top of it and I don't want to do that. Come on, come on. Yes, did it. Alright, so what I'm doing right now is I've got my orb here and it's pretty much grabbing the blood from my system and putting it here so this is what allowed me to do like the diamond and the gold because they take a little bit of time so all right one two three all right so that should give us of uh, this one all right nice so now we've got the diamond one uh, i don't know what it's for okay the coastal chest multi-block structure and can be used when you have a lot of item you need to repair at once this use chest has a none of the disadvantage of the normal blood chest. To build this, make a hollow 3x3x3 three by three by three structure reinforced on dead plank. To just trick to form, you need to exactly cause a whole block somewhere in a structure wall, blah blah blah. Okay, that seems pretty good. Pretty good. I, I don't know what... Uh... Holy moly! Alright, we're not there. We're not there yet. 
Well, I don't think we're there. Is this like done? Oh, that's it. Okay, yeah, that, that's not that hard to make. All right. Uh, but yeah, so I'm not sure what this is. With an infinite amount of blood, you can also start turning normal skeleton skull in wither skeleton skull. Or, 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 you can just have a wither skeleton farm in the overworld because weird logic of spawners. Uh, where did I put it? Oh, I only have four. <laughs> Okay, we're not there yet, but yeah, it's just 25,000. It's not that, like, hard to do. But all right, that's not bad. Oh, wait, let's do home auto loot. I uh, haven't been here in a while. Yeah, I think we lost the goblin. I think I have it in this one. A goblin that I saw. But all right, there you go, 56. That should uh, give us the quest. <laughs> it's an easy quest. Oh, for sure I'm grabbing... Oh, it's all of them. Okay. All right, so now that we got blood in our system, I can actually activate this. Because the thing that happened is... I think they changed it, but it takes... I've got way too many things. Uh, it takes blood only when you uh, swing with it. But we're, we're going to see, so... Yeah, we're at 25,000. We're good. It doesn't really matter. So let's go home with their skeleton, with their skull. Ah. Uh, okay, I've got an idea. I just want to get rid of all the items, so I'm going to leave one spot and do this. Because <laughs> seriously, there's way too many drops. And the thing that I want is blood shards. So we're going to hit them with this. Uh, when they spawn. I don't have my uh, speed thingy at the top now anymore. Because it's around with the crafters. So yeah. Come on. Spawn some. I heard a chicken. Alright. All right, so as you can see, we're, we're not getting much. But they, they're a little bit hard to find, so... Let's do the same thing here, and if we get it, we're gonna leave, like, one in the system. I could just wait for them to be one, one hit, but... Eh. Fine. It's fine. Still nothing. Yeah, you can enchant this, I think, and you can put, like, looting on it. It normally helps to get some. Uh, I really hate when they put you on fire. Oh, there we go, we got one. A weak blood shard. So this is the thing you want. So you're gonna be able to get 16 with this. Uh, you need 32, so that means you need to get two of those. And normally, uh, you can get more. Normally, I say normally because it seems they did not do that. Okay, yeah, so normally you can duplicate them. If you have one, you can make another one in these kind of thing. Uh, but I don't think it worked. Yeah, my, my server's a little bit laggy lately. Uh, which makes no sense because over here there's nothing. And if I go to the nether, everything's going to be fine, which makes no sense. Um, all right, I, I think we're good with two, so let's go back here, and we're going to do one, two, bam, 32. Awesome. So, oh, it needs you to do this part first. Oh, boy. All right, so I guess our next step is going to be in Botania. We need to get through the Botania stages and stuff. Uh, the white magic... Hmm. This is the one I, I've got a little bit more of problem making, to be honest. It's not that hard, but re really this is the, the one I hate. <laughs> 
Can't wait to get the uh, the, the centrifugal thingy doodler. It's gonna be such a good thing to get. Uh, we could like upgrade the induction smelter as much as we can and put like something to get the double uh, this, but I don't know how much like they modified the augment. Uh, okay, yeah, you need to go like in these kind of things. Yeah, we're, we're not into this yet. But all right, uh, let me try to prepare this. That shouldn't be too hard getting the, the materials for it. Are all of those like necessary nocturnal powder? Uh, all right, that isn't bad. Oh, wait, let, let's look at something. Uh, there is something that I did not do in the... In here, where is it? Uh, yeah, the imperfect ritual stone. So this is one we can make. Uh, all right. So. Imperf... No, imperfect ritual stone. So let's get ourselves this. Maybe get a little bit of inventory space. All right. Then upgrade to this. Then we need more tier three, right? No, those are tier two. Perfect. I've got tier twos. That's an easy thing to get. So let's go back up there. Let's go in here and bam, those are tier two. Okay, so now we, we need them into blocks. And this is gonna be there. Okay, so now I just need the iron promise. So iron promise, I think it's a block of iron. Yeah. So do I have like blocks of iron? I got one, I need two. Okay, but I've got this here, so yeah, let's just do that. <laughs> all right. Oh yeah, here I did all my obsidiorite, put it in here. I've upgraded those, I need to put some augments. But yeah, I'll to get the obsidiorite. Oh, dang it, I forgot about that. Uh, it was on the wrong side. Okay. Can we do this? Put that back. And there we go. All right, so now we should be able to keep the, the gold one, I think. Like it's still going to work and yeah, it works. Perfect, so one and two. Perfect. Well, we'll leave it make the other two while we do. Whoa, whoa. Okay. <laughs> so sometimes I'm not able to jump above. I was supposed to make bridges, but I decided not to. Okay. Why did it hurt me? Does it hurt you when you have it? I don't get it. How am I getting hurt? Okay, wait, let's try something. Oh! It's this. Okay, so now I sh probably don't have blood. Okay, now I'm getting blood. I didn't have any more blood in my system, so the blade, which was open, started to hurt me. So you gotta be careful. <laughs> I don't know, it's a nice way to move around the base, even though it's a little bit unpractical. Alright, but uh, that does mean that uh, this isn't a problem. Uh, let's also get ourselves some food. All right, so now we got this. We need lapis block, so... Oops. Yeah, that probably didn't go the right place. Oof. All the glowstone there. My inventory is really really crowded okay so I need to do the same thing put it into a block and all right so let's go to the blood area uh, we're gonna choose a space there you go let's put it there all right so what this thing's gonna allow you to do uh, does it say under uh, below a lapis block okay all right so now let's say we do home and we sleep sleep the night away and we need to do astral sorcery but well it's night so what do we do 
Well, the thing we can do is uh, we go into our bag. Uh, we find our weak activation or just if I click. No, I think you need the, 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 the activation sigil. I don't know where it is. I thought I had one. I think I thought we made one here. Like we, oh no, that was the alchemy relay. We didn't make a weak activation crystal, I think. Oh, but we can do it. That's not a problem anymore. We have everything we need. Tier three and this lava crystal. So it should, there we go. We have a weak activation crystal. And now what we can do is, boom, it's night. <laughs> and this takes though 5,000 life from our system. So of course, if we look here, I'm now 24, 24,900? It's supposed to take 5,000. It took like 100. <laughs> what? I don't understand what the heck. Okay. So, it's at 25,000. Let's go sleep the night and let's try that again. It makes no sense if it's just that amount. All right, so let's go back up there, try, try to find the thing again. Okay, so again, we're at 25,000. Activate 24,100. What? It even says in here. 5,000 life essence will be drained from the owner's network changing day into night. But it... It takes 100 LP, not 5,000. Okay. I, I don't mind it being less of a, of a thing. It's a good thing for me. Ooh, ritual stone. Can't wait. So this is uh, one of the reasons why we're going to need like a bunch of those. As you saw, Ritual Stone and Master Ritual Stone, you need a lot of things. And they're going to be really useful. But, I think we did a good thing today. So, I do hope you guys enjoyed this. What the? If you guys enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave a like. If you really loved it, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.